Hello, all of you. Here we begin the class for one of the popcorn topic, you can say. Huh? You all tell me first how you are preparing because the major topics are over. And now what topics I'm giving the knowledge is only what you need exactly for the exam. Huh? I know your time is important, but this topic collection, recovery and refund, three to five marks questions are asked. And one or two questions I'll tell you, 280 to double B and all, what is the kind of notice sent or what are the powers of the tax recovery officers? These are like repeatedly asked questions in exam and very simple, very simple I'm telling. That's why I call this topic as a popcorn topic. So with this, how is the pace of your preparation? Anytime when you are doing SFM, SCM, done. tax mein kuch nahi pada. At least take out your booster notes for mat, add and less, read and keep. Charitable trust, we have done the format. Hmm? So like this, whatever topics we have done, the important ones are already over. And it's not that these are less important. <clears throat> now don't say that you want to leave it in a choice because I'm telling you like from today's chapter, two, three questions are fixed. That, okay, we have done your assessment. We did the best judgment assessment. We gave you 156 demand notice. Still, you are not paying the tax. Now, what we will do? So, we will appoint a tax recovery officer and give him this, this powers. He will, he will have access to all our movable, immovable properties. He will sell it and recover the money. Still, it's not possible to recover the money. Can we put the SSE in prison? Yes. And then recover the money. Or... Can we appoint someone to take care of all this, sell off all the properties of this person, person achche se auction karo and realize take out like liquidator does in company. So these are different options. And ma'am, if someone runs away out of India, Niram Modi, can we go to the other countries, catch hold of them and get our taxes? Yes, powers are there. Of course, it depends on how you are having the terms and agreement with those countries, but powers are there. That's what we are going to study. And there are two, three questions in this from scanner. I checked it for this chapter today. Very important is immediately after the check uh, class, see the scanner so that you get the link of how the question is asked and what you have to answer. Like two, three times they have asked the same question. That if a wrong notice is sent to you, dear students, and you responded to the wrong notice, and the assessment is completed, now the SSE is saying, oh, it's a wrong notice. So this assessment is void. Answer is nothing can be done. Even if the notice is not sent in proper format, on proper time, whatever, procedure is not followed, signature stamp, nothing can be done. Huh. If you respond to the notice and if you wait and yet assessment is not over, then you can talk against the notice ki notice hi proper nahi hai to how we are going to do the assessment. But you responded to the no wrong notice. And after responding to no wrong notice, the department also carried on with your assessment. You have paid the tax and everything is over. Now you cannot make this assessment as void ab initio and all saying ki, Notice it thick nahi tha. Okay. So actually, frankly speaking, the questions which I saw in the scanner, two, three questions which I felt very important out of this topic, I have already covered that in your assessment procedure. Okay. And how this is linked with assessment procedure, wo bhi dekhte hai. <clears throat> how did we start the first topic, dear students? One second. Achha, online class hai, you know, in our face-to-face -face class, agar teacher ka, student ka, kisi ka phone baje na, to puri class ko chocolate khila nahi padti hai. <laughs> and I'm surely going to have a party with all of you once you get your degree and get the best result. Please invite me. Saamne se bol rahi hun. I want a party. Then it's fun having party, you know, that you are actually helping someone get the professional degree and it's being such a happy blessing feeling. Hmm? Chalo. So now, what I was talking, I put my phone on silent every day. Today I missed out in some. It's raining horribly actually. So I thought network is there or not. You all are able to hear me all properly. 
yeah so now what happens when we started our final classes if you remember dear students day when i taught you return of income you have to compute your own income from five heads and <clears throat> pay the tax <coughs> excuse me in three modes advance tax tds and self assessment tax now once this is over <clears throat> one second now it's department's turn to complete the assessment theek hai na ab department ki bari hai ki assessment complete karna hai aapko so how the department is going to complete the assessment in what way two three ways are there no they'll give scrutiny notice or best judgment and all wo karenge theek hai once this is done with okay department is doing this assessment and done with then they will give you a demand notice and you have to pay the tax today's classes if taxes is not paid by the sse what are the options with the department and second beautiful repeatedly ask question aaj ka class kaise hai pata hai koi movie dekh ke how you give review to your friends no 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 it is good what happened you know actually this this bus waise someone wants to leave india <clears throat> first thing we will tell him is get tax clearance certificate anyhow you go out of india waterways airways roadways you have to get tax clearance certificate because you are an nri whatever you have earned in india on that income you have to pay tax <clears throat> or you have to do bandobast you know what is bandobast you tell your indian pe or some agent in india okay let the nri go i will pay the tax on his behalf done then bye bye so that is one procedure another is indian person going out of india okay for business job opportunities and you are like resident and ordinary resident of india no problem permanently you are going out of india then for you the previous year and assessment year is same pay the taxes till now give the tax clearance certificate the income tax is so very much clear on this you know are you all following i am teaching this in a very different way last 10 minutes what i am saying kuch dimag mein gaya ya nahi gaya if you can put a response i'm just saying that it as a popcorn topic i will good aise answer karna you have to write points in exam because it's a procedure and it's a very simple procedure someone willing to go out of india should make sure if he is an nri he should show the tax clearance certificate okay i have earned this much in india did we do presumptive taxation for nris 44b 44b pay this tax and leave no problem or else the second option is tell someone in india your agent your pe okay let the nri go on his behalf we will pay the tax done fine now here the story is person who is resident in india he wants to go out of india permanently make sure you pay the tax and go here income tax department is so smart they are putting the responsibility on the port authorities and the airport authorities if you allow an air uh, non resident to board the flight or the ship without asking for the tax clearance certificate you the ship owner the aircraft owner company your company should pay the tax we want our money that is how it is responsible and so many times in india to i am having jurisdiction who am i today for one and a half hour class tax recovery officer tro i have full jurisdiction and mere pass i have all the tax details including the tax the arrears and interest and all details okay and uh, i will pay it i i will matlab uh, make sure that i give you the list but then some taxes are due and the person has gone and now he is staying in australia then definitely can we go to the australia take help of the jurisdiction over there and recover the tax answer is yes okay he to left someone in india is taking care of the property we tell him not to sell a single property all movable and immovable property belongs to government first we will recover our money then you take it and if the person is saying okay i take the responsibility i will sell off and pay 
and then he sells off without paying the tax to us and he disperses then that person legal heir successor whoever is in india is personally responsible for paying the tax we told you not to sell his property why did you sell and if you have sold why didn't you pay the government dues first if you have done in your inter level anyway liquidators final statement of account after recovering his commission expenses first thing is pay his government dues taxes due custom duty gst income tax so today's class is super interesting procedure hai but utna bhi serious wala procedure nahi hai what we have studied for raid and search that was to still technical language super easy language super clear make sure three questions i have told you in the last 10 minutes one is what are the powers and duties of the tax recovery officer as i discussed second is how the person going out of india is responsible to pay the tax third is notice what kind of notice should be served to pay the tax and if there is a mistake in the notice will that make the assessment only void answer is no and please write if you are having this hard copy of today's material like this wahan pe likh do refer the scanner immediately because you will get the language oh ma'am taught this concept but aisa question aayega to we have to write this answer theek hai this is from my side any doubts you have ask otherwise straight now we are starting with the topic nothing to write and calculate in today's class collection recovery and in fact one part of this topic is uh, repeated also one second one part of this topic is repeated how you know a uh, refund we did day before yesterday's class know that if you are refunding the excess tax to uh, 234 d you have to pay 0.5% interest that part is repeated here okay so i'm sharing the screen okay as i started the class i am just asking you all ki did you get the answer for the homeworks exactly same problem one second and yes you hmm Did you all get the answer for the two problems I gave you? They are from your material only. See, these are the sections we are going to do. Demand notice, which you get. You remember, assessment procedure ended at demand notice. Bare judgment, scrutiny. Finally, they'll give you demand notice, and they'll give you thirty days time to pay if required. they can if they feel that no no 30 days is too much time and the ssc might run away he might alienate with the asset they can reduce the time and if you don't pay then from 31st day the interest will start in fact this part we have already done you can check it so related to that we will do then penalties certificate of the tax recovery tros who can be tro what all things he will write recovery procedures in india out of india in other jurisdiction see my ssc is having one property in hyderabad i have recovered another is having in gujarat so can we transfer it to the gujarat jurisdiction and ask them to help recover the tax from their answer is yes <coughs> this section star market two times they have asked this question ये चैप्टर को ऐसे ही पढ़ना है जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड द प्रोसीजर नोटिस डिमांड डीम टू बी वैलिड नोटिस इज वैलिड इवन इफ इट इज बेसिकली रॉन्ग टाइमिंग गलत था टाइम पे नहीं दिए प्रोसीडिंग गलत थे बट यू हैव रिस्पॉन्डेड टू नो रॉन्ग नोटिस एंड दे हैव कंप्लीटेड असेसमेंट यू पे टैक्स ऑल्सो एवरीथिंग इज क्लोज नाउ यू कैन नॉट मेक द नोटिस वर्ड ओके राइट चलो so what i have explained now for demand notice is it clear whenever the government will complete your assessment they can give you 30 days time if there is a reason they can extend the time also and beyond 30 days how much interest will be charged 
one percent per month okay now where the interest is charged already in the tds tds tcs concept you remember tds if you don't deduct it one percent interest is charged from the day you deduct and the day you pay and the day you paid to government 1.5 the day you should have deducted till the day you actually deduct it one percent is the interest and the day you deduct and keep in your pocket and after three months you pay to government 1.5 percent per month so if already interest is charged in other sections then it will not be charged here so much me are is coming so i have demanded tax from you and if you are not paying in 30 days 1% interest but this demand and tax is like tds tcs then 1 or 1.5% if it's already covered in any one place you charge the interest okay now can we reduce the interest answer is yes the chief commissioner or commissioner may reduce or even waive off the interest if he is satisfied market as theory question payment of amount may cause or would cause genuine hardship to the ss ssc ko kuch na kuch problem ho jayega agar aap interest charge karte ho because some genuine hardship is there he is not in india or there is a fire in his factory and no amount left something or default in payment of amount on which interest has been paid was payable under the section was due to circumstances beyond the control of ssc if you charge interest there would be genuine hardship for ssc and there were circumstances which were beyond the control of the ssc and ssc has cooperated in any inquiry relating to assessment of proceedings for the recovery and amount due the order accepting or rejecting the application of the ssc either in full or in part shall be passed within a period of 12 months from the end of the month in which application is received clear hai aap sab the order accepting or rejecting the application of the ssc either in full or in part shall be passed within a period of 12 months from the end of the month in which application is received no order rejecting application either in full or in part shall be passed unless ssc has given an opportunity of being heard so whatever interest you want to charge let them know and for genuine reason you can waive off or reduce the interest within 12 months okay if the amount is not paid within the time or the extended time ssc is said to be in default hmm? following circumstances ssc may not be considered as ssc in default hmm? where ssc has presented an appeal and already your case is going on appeal remains undisposed of or where ssc is assessed in respect of income arising out of india the law of which restricts the remittance of money to india generally if you have demanded the tax ssc should pay it but he may not pay because his case is pending in appeal or sometimes his money is held up outside india and genuinely has got proof He is not able to remit that money in India. Okay, so then in that case he will not be an SSC in default. ये पूरे पेज में एग्जाम के लिए यही इम्पोर्टेंट है. What are the cases when interest can be waived? If you feel that SSC को it will be genuine hardship or due to circumstances beyond the control of SSC or SSC has cooperated or inquiry relating to assessment or proceeding. <clears throat> he has already cooperated in any assessment or proceeding for the recovery of any amount due in all these cases interest would be waived chal penalty payable when the tax in default hmm? when ssc is in default or is deemed to be in default a pay he shall be in addition to the amount of tax arrears interest and all will be liable to pay penalty also more detail we will study in the next topic tomorrow we are doing that penalties and prosecution there also under and over rates related one question is fixed so with lot of emphasis i'll teach that part only <clears throat> so you'll have to pay penalty 
as the AO may direct. Okay, the total amount of penalty should not exceed the amount of tax in arrears. SSE shall be given reasonable opportunity, and where the SSE proves that default was for good, then no penalty. Many times penalties are waived if SSE is proving that it was not his mistake. An SSE shall not cease to be liable to any penalty merely by reason of fact that before the levy of the penalty, he has already paid the tax. Superb. You did some fault. Department wants to put the penalty. Before paying, charging you the penalty, you are saying, Oh, department, ye tax mene pay nahi kya tha na, mene abhi pay kar diya kal. Still, penalty will be levied. Very nice point. Look at the language and I want to read it again. An SSE shall not cease to be liable to pay penalty merely by reason of the fact that before the levy of the penalty, he already paid tax. He's already paid tax. Whereas a result of any final order, amount of tax with respect to default in the payment of which penalty was levied has been wholly reduced, the penalty levied shall be cancelled and the amount of penalty shall be refunded. So sometimes if they have paid the penalty and then if they are proving that the tax and penalty is reduced, it will be refunded. So once again, if the SSE is not giving the tax in time, in 30 days, he will be said to be SSE in default, except two cases, when his case is pending in the appeal and when his money is held up outside India, he's not able to remit it in India to pay the tax. And along with taxes, arrears, to the for ABC, interest, fees, Penalty is all above this. Penalty is to bilkul charge hongi. SSC shall be given a reasonable opportunity of heard or yes, a penalty lagega. But once you wanted to charge the penalty, he cannot escape by saying that I've already paid the tax. Maybe late, but with interest fees, 234 EF, sab pay No. Whereas a result of any final order amount of tax with respect to default in the payment of which penalty was levied has been wholly reduced. The penalty levied shall be cancelled. An amount of penalty paid shall be refunded. Okay. Right. Certificate to tax recovery officer. Okay. Now, whenever taxes are due for the assessment and we are not able to recover from the SSE, we will make the whole chitta, everything ready and give it to the TRO. See. Where an SSE is in default or is deemed to be in default in making payment of tax. TRO. Who is TRO? Tax Recovery Officer under 222. This is important. May draw up under a signature a statement in prescribed form specifying amount of arrears due to SSE and shall proceed to recover the SSE amount specified in certificate by one or more modes mentioned below in accordance with second schedule. Attachment and sale of SSE is movable property. Haan, ye kya -kya options hai? What are the options with the TRO? Exam mein aise question hai. Option with tax recovery officer to recover tax. Because you send me notice, you ask me to meet, Aray, main koi respond hi nahi kar I'm not responding the notice. I'm not bringing the books of accounts. You did the best judgment, still I'm not paying the tax. Now, tax recovery officer will make a whole list. How much is tax, how much is arrears and all. And what are the ways to recover the tax? Number one, attachment and sale of SSEs, movable property. Huh? Jo movable property hai na, unka jo bhi hai. Uh, your, normally if the business is running, stock to nahi. But whatever other assets are there, fixed assets, furniture, vehicle, like this, they can sell and recover the money. Attach and sell SSEs, immovable property, land building and all. Third is arrest SSE and his detention in prison and then ask him to pay the tax and then we will allow him to go out of jail. Appointing a receiver for the management of SSEs, movable. You can appoint the proper person who will just sell his movable, immovable property, pay the first mortgage and all, and then help us recover our dues. So these are the four options. Are you uh, doing marking, dear students? 
बिकॉज ये मैं छान के पढ़ा रही हूं आपको चैप्टर दिस विल बी ओवर विद इन वन आर सो ओनली वॉट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट बाकी इट्स नॉट वी आर लिविंग बट इट्स लाइक अ सिंपल पॉपकॉर्न टॉपिक मतलब क्या इट्स लाइक अ कॉमन लॉजिक अरे समन वॉन्ट्स टू गो आउट ऑफ इंडिया टू टेल हिम टू पे द टैक्स एंड देन लीव property to include property transfer to spouse minor child sons wife sons minor child super you know when you transfer the property to your spouse without adequate consideration that income is clubbed in the hands of husband only yaad hai sabko clubbing of income when you transfer to son's wife daughter in law property ghar hai boat hai aur wo boat pe she is earning income then that income will be taxable in the hands of father in law only so like this if the property is transferred to spouse and all then income from this is clubbed in the hands of the husband only so you know as and how if the raid hone wala hai and if i am caught up i will smartly transfer my property in my husband's name company ke owner to main hu na i am personally liable my husband is not liable i'll transfer so if some assets are transferred they belong to the ssc only and along with this movable and immovable you have got an access to that property also if i am explaining few things in my way and if they are going bouncer or not clear or if you want me to repeat please let me know in the chat box that's one of the best benefit to attend the live class aur ye khatam ho jayega mere sath sath hi so for the purpose of this section SSC's movable or immovable property shall include property which he has directly or indirectly transferred to spouse, minor child, uh, son's wife, son's minor child. Otherwise, then for adequate consideration, you know, out of love and affection, we give them. No step in execution of certificate shall be taken until period of fifteen days have elapsed since the date of service. However, if the TRO is satisfied, defaulter is likely to conceal, remove, or dispose of the property. He may. reduce the time when you attach the property you know you have to tell them ki okay within this time we will sell off and all but if you feel nahi batane se zyada time dene se they might cheat you can reduce that further if the default house property so attached furnishes security to the satisfaction of the tro such attachment shall be cancelled from the date on which security super you know for the tax recovery they attach my house and i am staying in my house now i'm saying my house is worth 1 crore and i have this farm house also 1 crore and i'm giving that farm house original paper as security please relieve my house so that i can stay there is it allowed answer is yes tro will consider the other property given and free you from this property arrears include interest all charges warrant everything the proceeds shall be disposed of in following manner sabse pehle they shall first be adjusted towards the amount due under certificate in execution of which assets were realized cost incurred and you know some assets have mortgage and all ki first charge nahi kabhi bhi if you sell this plant and machinery first you have to pay this secured loan to pay that and then pay the government dues and then whatever remains after recovering everything hand it over to the ssc Balance will be paid to defaulter. This is like common order of TRO relating to execution is final. TRO ka order final hai. कुछ नहीं कर सकते. However, a suit may be brought in the civil court if any time after the certificate is drawn up by TRO, the defaulter dies. The proceedings, except arrest and detention, may continue against the legal representative of the defaulter. सी टी आर ओ के पास लिस्ट है एंड एज ही वॉज प्रोसेसिंग टी आर ओ द एस एस सी डाइस देन ऑल दैट रिकवरी प्रोसीजर विल बी कैरिड अगेंस्ट हिस्स लीगल हेल्स हुएवर आर देर यू नो वॉट वेन यू मॉडगेज द प्रॉपर्टी यू रिमेंबर इन एसेसमेंट प्रोसीजर वी हेव सीन दैट यू कैन गेट द वैल्यूएशन डन फॉर द प्रॉपर्टी वन फोर्टी टू बी दैट इज अलाउड हेयर ऑल्सो आएगा कहीं तो आगे बट वो भी है an appeal from original order passed by the tro shall lie to chief commissioner such appeal must be presented within 30 days from the date of order appealed against pending the decision of appeal execution of certificate may be stayed 
कैन द एस एस सी अपील टू द चीफ कमिश्नर सर टी आर ओ हैज मेड दिस ऑर्डर पर ये नहीं है ठीक ओके दे कैन विद इन थर्टी डेज एंड टिल दैट टाइम टी आर ओ विल वेट वंस अगेन बिकॉज दिस पेज इज इम्पॉर्टेंट हु इज टी आर ओ पढ़ो एक बार रीड द फर्स्ट पार्ट tro tax recovery officer he will make the whole um, you know certificate the assessment ready that from this ssc this much tax this much arrears including interest penalty so and so is recovered for that he will first sell the movable property or immovable property or he can put the person behind prison if he thinks ke isko chhodne se pura tax chala jayega he has got all civil powers and he can ask for the tax recovery first or he can appoint a receiver whenever tro has access to properties definitely i want all of you to write your clubbing provisions whatever assets are transferred to wife to son's wife to son's children out of love and affection that all actually belongs to ssc and very well you can sell that and recover your money okay right if ssc submits other property as security and wants you to release this it's allowed hmm? and how he is going to dispose of he will sell the asset recover his money and balance he will hand it over while this all procedure tro is doing if the defaulting ssc dies then the legal procedure will be carried on with his legal help within 30 days of the tro taking the action the ssc the defaulter ssc can appeal to the commissioner okay that so and so is done then that tro procedure will be kept withheld for some time tro by whom recovery is to be affected tro competent to take action shall be tro within whose jurisdiction ssc carries on business or profession hmm? tro who is competent to take action shall be tro within whose jurisdiction market important ye bhi exam mein aa chuka hai jo aa chuke hain wohi question ko main theory question likha gayi tro will take action where the ssc carries on business and he has jurisdiction or principal place of the business or ssc resides or any movable or immovable property of the ssc is situated करेक्ट है क्लियर है आप तीनों को तीनों पॉइंट्स सो टी आर ओ कैन रिकवर और ही हैज द जुरिस्टिक्शन वेर द एस एस सी कैरीज ऑन बिजनेस हुएवर टी आर ओ इज हैविंग जुरिस्टिक्शन यू विल डू और वेर द प्रिंसिपल प्लेस इज बिजनेस वहां के टी आर ओ एक्शन ले सकते और वेर द एस एस सी रिसाइड और एनी मूवेबल इमूवेबल प्रॉपर्टी सिचुएटेड एज आई सेट वन ऑफ माई प्रॉपर्टी इज इन गुजरात can we transfer that to the tr over there and ask him to help the recover the tax from gujarat to hyderabad answer is yes jurisdiction is assigned either by cbtt or chief commissioner who is authorized and where the ssc is property is within jurisdiction of more than one tro in such case if the tro by whom certificate is drawn up is not able to recover the entire amount by sale of the property within his jurisdiction he may send the certificate to a tro within whose jurisdiction the ssc has property thereupon tro shall proceed to recover the amount as if certificate was drawn by him are you understanding the procedure i can't go from hyderabad to gujarat and recover i have i as a tro has recovered the taxes from hyderabad one of the properties of ssc is in gujarat i'll give the certificate to the tro ko ready karke and with that certificate he will recover the tax as if he has only prepared the certificate and hand it over to me okay validity of certificate cancellation and amendment ssc cannot dispute the correctness of the certificate drawn however tr is empowered to cancel the certificate ha huh? if he thinks and he can rectify any arithmetical error also stay of proceedings in persons of certificate and amendment 
TRO empowered to grant time for the payment of the tax. Hmm? He will grant time to the SSE. TRO empowered to stay proceedings where demand is reduced in appeal, but subject matter of further proceeding. So if it has gone for appeal, he will wait. TRO empowered to modify or cancel the certificate when demand is reduced on appeal. So when the SSE has gone for appeal, TRO will wait. Now in the appeal, if taxes is reduced from 25 to 15, the TRO will reduce the demand for in his certificate also from 25 to 50. Simple. <coughs> now, what are the modes of recovery of taxes both to TRO and to AO? Hmm? SSA officer can recover the tax. He does not need a certificate as drawn by TRO. But certificate has to be drawn for the TRO. TRO, ko kya hai na? he doesn't have the idea of the assessment. AO to he himself has done the assessment. He can recover the tax. Now, what are the modes of recovery of tax? Star mark as important. What are the modes of recovery of the tax? Number one, if the SSE is salaried employee, you can directly inform to his employer that instead of paying him salary, pay salary to us in the form of the tax. Still, the employer is paying him salary, then employer is personally. Bola tha na, unko mat pay kar, humko itna demand baakye, like that the story. Salary can be attached. Person paying salary to such person, you can recover the arrears of tax to the credit of central government. And it is not applicable where the salary is exempt from attachment under the code of civil procedure. Okay. Next. Any SSE. Okay, they can recover any SSE. It's called garnish order. Any person who money is due or become due or who holds any money for the SSE jointly to the credit of central government payment of some deducted, they have to pay. Huh. Actually, I'll tell you. I am the defaulter. And I have to recover the money from uh, Shri Devi. Now, what I am doing is ki I have to recover the money from Shri Devi. As a TRO, you can directly go to Shri Devi. Deepthi ma'am ko pay karne ki jaga humko pay kar. So they can go to all my data, unsecured loans, wherever I have put my money. My investment assets, all that too, they can sell. But even this. So an SSE, any person from whom money is due or become due to the SSE or who holds, there they can go and recover the money. For this, some points are there, we'll see. SSE whose money is in court's custody. Recovery from the money belonging to SSE in court and court will pay to A or TRO. Payment by court to the extent of liability or entire amount if it is less. Can we ask to court in the appeals and also and so person has given 5 lakh rupees na advance mein. Ye humko dena, unko mat dena. Yes. An SSE recovery of arrears of tax by distant and sale of movable property. Distant is like, go raid their house, recover some assets, sell off those jewelry, gold, cash and recover your tax. Yeah. So, arrears of tax to be reduced by third person. Hai nahi. Payment of some deducted. Kuch paise hai nahi. You will have to first sell the immovable property and do this. But this should be authorized by higher authorities, commissioner or chief commissioner, principal, director, general. Distant or shale shall be made as that for the attachment and sale of movable and immovable property. So what are the ways of recovering the tax? If the SSE is an employee, recover the tax from the employee. If the SSE has to receive from third person, directly go to third person and ask him to pay. If SSE is money lying in court, ask the court to pay you directly. If the SSE is having certain assets and all, go see such assets, recover your money. Okay. And related to this, some procedure they have given. 
let us see that is my speed fine you all are following or not today's class where it is important i am repeating like straight question asked in the examens ye page pe do question the what are the options for the tro to movable immovable prison or ya to fir receiver point kar lo char option the hai na next <coughs> Is TRO competent to take the option? Yes, but in which area? Ya to SSC should reside in your area, or he is having principal business, or he is doing any other business branch. Kuch to hai na apke area mein. Tabi, hmm? right. So these are the ways to recover the tax. Isme when you recover the third party, you have to inform the third party that don't pay him, pay to me. Still, after giving the notice, the third party is paying to him. Now, the third party is personally responsible. Bola tha na nahi dena. Why did you? That's what is in this story. See, the copy of notice issued by AO or the TRO is to be forwarded to SSA at the last known address. Every person to whom notice is issued by AO is bound to comply with the notice, and one copy will go to SSA also. Ki so and so people, your boss, your datas, and all we have given, and they are going to pay us, not to you. If the person against whom garnishy order is issued holds no money on account of defaulting SSC or he has no liability to pay, then it's closed. No effect. Nahi hai. We thought that you are the data for me, and they gave the notice to you, but you are not the data. So stop it. Liability for false certificate. Later, it is discovered that personal statement were false and nothing could be recovered. Then go on. Amendment to garnishy order. garnish order may be amended or revoked at any time or time by ao alternatively ao may extend the time for making the order that's allowed discharge of liability a recipient of any amount paid in compliance with garnish order shall be granted to person so paying by the ao and such person is fully discharged from his liability to the extent now what is this point i had to recover the money from shri devi Is Shri Devi is paying this money to government? Shri Devi is no longer liable to pay me. I can't say. मुझे नहीं पता आपने government को दिया मेरा तो पैसा चाहिए. No, that's what. Huh? Such a person is fully discharged from liability to the SSC because you have already paid to government. Failure to discharge. Where person to whom notice is served fails to make payment, he shall be deemed to be an SSC in default and all. आपको बोला था मत पे करो उनको डायरेक्टली रिस्पॉन्सिबल इ against the property of the ssc if so and so tro is taking action and he has already sent the demand notice that against this asset i will set off once that notice is followed after that no third person can say nahi nahi ye to property meri hai aur mera claim hai and all no not allowed now money will go to the ao first is this clear to all of you once again what are the modes of recovery because you are not responding We asked you to file the return, नहीं किया. Scrutiny के लिए books मंगाए, नहीं दिया. Best judgment किया, बुलाया, नहीं है. We gave you the demand notice, nothing. One fifty six, thirty days time दिए, तो भी कुछ नहीं किए. अब करना क्या है? We need to recover the money. So we will sell the assets and recover the money. And if that short falls, your assets, SSE dear, if your assets are short fall, we will recover the money from your employer. We will recover the money from a third party. we can recover the money from court or we can sell off more of your assets and recover the money recovery through state government state government is interested with all the powers recovery of tax in any area has been interested state government state government may recover any arrears in same manner recovery of the tax in persons of agreement with foreign countries can we have agreement with foreign countries that our ssc is residing and so much of taxes do you please help us recover yes where an agreement is entered by central government with the government of other country you know dta may dta may go and check your first page of dta what is the need of dta 
help each other's SSE's recovery of the tax. And there should not be any double taxation. If the SSE is very well resident and not very resident of Hyderabad, but he has paid the tax in Singapore, he should get a credit here, no foreign tax credit. That's why DTA. So one of the conditions in DTA is to help recover the taxes. Where an agreement is entered into by the central government with the government or any country outside India for recovery of income tax and corresponding law enforced. And the government of that country, which is specified, sends to board CBDT, a certificate for recovery of tax due under corresponding law. The board may forward that to TRO within whose jurisdiction such property is situated. Thereupon, TRO shall proceed to recover the amount specified in certificate, remit any sum so recovered by him to the board after deducting his expenses in connection with the recovery proceedings. Where an SSE is in default or is deemed to be SSE in default in making a payment of uh, tax, the TRO may, if the SSE has property in a country outside India, forward to board or certificate drawn up and board may take such action. In short, you know what? You hand over the details to those countries, AO, to whoever, tax recovery officer who's having jurisdiction. And he will proceed with the help of the certificate to recover the amount and remit the amount so recovered after deducting his expense. Where an SSC is in default is deemed to be default by making payment of tax. TRO, if the SSC is property in country outside India, forward to board a certificate drawn up under 222 and board may take such action thereon as it may deem appropriate having regard to agreement. So this can be asked as a short note, 228A. Sections 3 can. There are too many sections, one or two important. If you can remember, fine. Otherwise, don't worry. What is the procedure to recover the tax from foreign countries? We, our country's TRO will give the TRO is having jurisdiction in that country, in the area where the SSC is residing. And he will help us recover the taxes after selling his assets in those countries and hand over the remaining to us. Recovery of penalty, fines, interest and other sum. Hmm? All is a part of the recovery procedure. Tax clearance certificate. Ab ye ho gaya. Tax recovery khatam ho gaya. We are going to the tax clearance certificate that when you go out of India, why do you need tax clearance certificate? Shall we start? Tax clearance certificate. Until now, no doubt TRO is over in India. He will try to recover the tax. He will try to sell the property or he will recover the taxes from SSE's employer or court or third party. He will do everything. And if the tax is to be recovered from foreign countries, still he can do. Tax clearance certificate for both. For person not domiciled in India means non-resident who is not domiciled in India, who has come to India for business and who has income derived from non-resident earning income from India, shall leave territory of India by land, sea, air, unless he furnishes prescribed authority and undertaking in prescribed form or through whom such person is in receipt of income to the effect that tax payable by such person who is not domiciled in India shall be paid by the employer or the payer and prescribed authority on the receipt of undertaking immediately give. Samaj me aray hai nahi aapko? Person who is non-resident, he has come to India for business connection and he has earned income India. He will not leave India unless he furnishes an undertaking prescribed from, from his employer or through the person who is in receipt of income might be his agent. That tax payable who is not domiciled in India shall be paid by employer or the payer and the prescribed authority shall 
on the receipt of undertaking immediately giving such person a no objection certificate for leaving india the aforesaid provision is not applicable to a person who is not domiciled in india but visits india as a foreign tourist or any other purpose not connected see someone just coming to india visiting taj mahal and going no problem you don't need at airport ki aapka tax clearance certificate batao person who has come to india is a non resident he has a business connection in india and he has earned some income in india now when you are leaving india you need to give a tax clearance certificate either you pay the tax and leave or you transfer it to someone your agent or someone who is going to pay on your behalf theek hai so this tax clearance certificate section 230 first one for the non resident now person domiciled in india resident now if you are going out of india make sure why you are going if you are going permanently make sure you pay the tax and go clear dekho every person who is domiciled in india at the time of departure from india shall furnish in prescribed form to income tax authority the permanent account number allotted to him however where pen has not been allotted or his total income is not chargeable to tax or he is not required to obtain the pen shall furnish purpose of visit outside india and period of stay huh? that's why all that passport visa stamping why you are going out of india for how many days and all no person who is domiciled in india at the time of departure and in respect of whom circumstances exist in the opinion of income tax authorities shall leave the territory of india by land sea or air unless he obtains a certificate of authority stating that he has no liability under direct tax or satisfactory arrangements have been made for the payment of all taxes which are or may become no such order shall be made unless the authority records the reason thereof and obtains prior approval of higher authorities ye principal commissioner commissioner yaad rehte to theek hai the way you can write higher authority fir se ek baar person who is not in india comes to india he is having business connection in india he has earned in india should not live unless he is giving the declaration that he has either paid all the tax or he is asking someone else to pay okay and person who is residing in india if he is leaving out of india he should ye exam mein ye part likhna he should tell the purpose of visit outside india and his stay no person who is domiciled in india at the time of departure and in respect of whom circumstances exist in opinion of authority render it necessary for such person to obtain a certificate under this section Huh? they shall leave unless they make arrangement either to pay the tax themselves or through other authorities or they need to prove that they don't have any liability in india then they can go clear to all of you person resident in india and person now if these two people are allowed to leave by land air or sea way through a carrier be it aircraft or ship vessel vehicle then those people are caught up see if the owner or charter of a ship or the aircraft carrying person from a place in territory of india to any place outside india allows any of the aforesaid person to travel by such ship or aircraft without first satisfying himself that such person is in possession of a certificate as required he shall be personally liable to pay the whole or part of the tax if any payable samajh mein aa raha hai suppose i went out of india to through indigo or air india and they didn't ask for the tax certificate and i left now they are personally responsible to pay the taxes because why they didn't take the tax clearance certificate and what are the reason if i'm just going on a tourist visa and all then you know they make us write ki okay how many days will be your stay and all what is the purpose and if i am going for business or if i am going permanently leaving india 
definitely they have to take the certificate ki okay dipti cheda show us your tax clearance certificate we need a copy and then you can board our flight if not these people will be personally liable is it easy in respect of sum payable by the owner or charter the owner or charter shall be deemed to be ssc in default hmm? underline the clue words as i am doing they shall be personally liable or ssc in default okay now recovery by suit or under other law not affected see when you are recovering the tax through tro and all you are recovering this other procedures can go on or not kuch raid hua hai kuch appeal hai kuch aur chal raha hai to wo chalega that will not stop several modes of recovery are specified in this chapter shall not affect in any way any other law in force for recovery of debt due to government or right of recovery to institute a suit of recovery and it shall all be lawful for ao or government as the case may be to have recourse samajh mein aa raha hai nahi see tro is recovering the taxes of previous year 1920 and ye 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 story but if there is a raid if some other thing is going on or gst <clears throat> so can the other recovery procedures also go on with this answer is yes provisional attachment to protect the revenue in certain cases see if the government is feeling that it is still this is like raid case 281b you know i'll explain this and you can refer this provisional attachment and constructive assessment or humne kiya tha na what is provisional attachment if the ao feels that uh, this person might not pay the full tax then as a precautionary mode they will provisionally provisionally attach the property means property will be with the ssc but they will give a notice that you cannot sell the property or go out of india unless you inform us and pay the taxes so if they have that fear that this person might not pay the tax or this person might sell off this property fir hum kya karenge so they will provisionally attach the property but very important part is whenever provisional attachment is done here or in the raid case it is valid only for 6 months after that it will automatically nullify uske baad kya karna hoga again you have to make a procedure so i want to all of you to write here first thing refer caesar same write a short note on provisional attachment is there in case of caesar also where during the pendency of any proceedings the aos of opinion that for the purpose of protecting interest of revenue it is see the language look at the language for the purpose of protecting interest of revenue it is necessary to do he may with the approval of the chief commissioner and all attach provisionally the property every such provisional attachment shall cease to have the effect within 6 months yes when the ssc furnishes a guarantee okay um, one minute six months however the commissioner uh, may record the reason and extend it that the total period of extension shall not in any case exceed two years or 60 days after the date of the order whichever is later when the ssc furnishes a guarantee from a scheduled bank for an amount not less than fmb so dhyan se suno when the ssc furnishes a guarantee from a scheduled bank for an amount not less than the fmb of property ao shall order in writing revoke the attachment please don't attach my this property i need to sell it or partition it and between my three sons and all against this i'll give you this as security okay accept it no problem however where ao satisfied that guarantee from scheduled bank is lower than this value and all he may not accept ao may for the purpose of determining the value of the property go to valuation officer 142a wala order revoking provisional assessment shall be made within 45 days from the receipt of guarantee or where reference to valuation officer is made or within 15 days from the date of receipt of guarantee in any other case 
तो वैल्यूशन ऑफिसर के पास गया तो विद इन फोर्टी फाइव डेज दे कैन रिवोक बाहर निकल जाओ और इफ दे गिव एनी अदर गारंटी विद इन फिफ्टीन डेज Where a notice of demand specifying sum payable is served upon SSC and SSC fails to pay the sum, AO may invoke the guarantee and recover the money. AO shall, in interest of revenue, invoke bank guarantee if SSC fails to renew guarantee or fails to furnish a new guarantee. Amount realized by invoking guarantee shall be adjusted against the existing demand, which is payable by SSC, and balance amount shall be deposited in the. Principal Commissioner's Branch in RBI or SBI, okay, and where you satisfied that guarantee is not required, he may release the guarantee. Check it as a procedure and leave it. See, whenever the AO has got a doubt that um, in the interest of revenue, it is necessary to provisionally attach this additional property, they will attach it. What do they do in provisional attachment? They give a notice to the SSE without our permission. You cannot dispose of this property. Because your case is going on in our case. Okay. Now, provisional attachment always ceases within six months. At the most, it can be extended to two years. Okay. Now, if the SSE wants, he can give other guarantee equivalent or more than the fair market value of the provisional attachment, and he can release that. okay but that other guarantee should be more if it is less it will be revoked hmm? and whenever the ao feels that no ssc is not paying the demand money he can sell that provisional attachment property in between he can get the valuation also done and once the ssc ao has recovered the money from ssc and he no longer needs the guarantee he can release the guarantee finished hmm? Certain transfers to be void while your assessment is going on, where during the pendency of proceeding or after completion, but before the service of notice by TRO, any SSE creates a charge on or parts with the possession, sale, mortgage, mortgage भी नहीं, sale तो दूर, mortgage भी नहीं कर सकते because अगर case चल रहा है तो, gift, exchange, any other mode is assets in favour. Such transfer shall be void because your case is going on. Asset means land, building, plant and machinery, shares, securities, FDs, pura kya fixed asset. You cannot transfer or deviate all this. You cannot even give this asset as mortgage to bank and obtain bank loan because the department is having the provisional attachment here. However, such transfer or charge shall be void. If it is made for adequate consideration and without the notice of pendency of proceeding, or with the notice of such tax, or with the previous permission of AO, this section applies to cases where amount of tax payable is likely to be payable exceeds five thousand, assets charged or transferred exceed ten thousand. Take your time, check it. Certain transfers are to be void till your case is going on with us. You cannot part with the asset. You cannot sell. Sell. You cannot mortgage. You cannot gift. You cannot barter. Because I'll give and again take and on because your assessment is pending. Land building, plant and machinery. But if you have done it, and if AO wants to stop this, but AO doesn't have the proper knowledge that taxes pending and all, then it will not be valid. And this kind of Transfer and all can be stopped when the tax payable is above five thousand and value of the asset is ten thousand, which is like nothing lakhs and crores. Me hote hain. Okay, now we are going towards the end, but most important topic like this one is so super duper important. Service of notice. What do you mean by a valid notice? Ye ek dum straight aise ke aise theory question aayega exam. What is a valid notice? So notice which is sent by post, courier, or manner given in the code of procedure, email, or any other mode as prescribed by the board, is a valid notice. Notice is valid if it is given with the proper mode. Authentication of notice and other document, where the act requires a notice or other document to be issued by authority 
such notice or other document shall be signed and issued in paper form or communicated in electronic form by that authority in accordance with the procedure as may be prescribed hmm? notice is valid but if it is sent by email and it has to be authenticated when we say it is authenticated if it is stamped signed dated every notice served by shall be deemed to be authenticated if the name of the officer designated income tax authority is printed stamped otherwise written off mark this one one liner question chote chote question puchhenge notice should be authenticated by way of name and signature and designation of income tax officer who has printed it stamped or otherwise written Huh? And where the act requires a notice or other document to be issued, such notice shall be signed and issued in proper form. Even if you are getting it in mail, that scanned copy you get, in which all the signature, digital signature, name, all all details are there. Return of income, etc., not to be invalid on certain grounds. No return of income assessment notice, summons, or uh, other proceedings furnished or made issued or taken have been furnished or made and all this shall be invalid merely by reason of the any mistake defect or omission in the notice samajh mein aa raha ye already maine aapko assessment procedure mein i have added more questions and they have taught you ki if there is a clerical mistake in the notice will that make the notice or the order as invalid answer is no clerical mistake doesn't make official document invalid please mark it as true and false commenting question just because uh, dipti cheda ki jagah dipti shah likh diya and they gave me everything proper can i say are ye to notice valid hi nahi hai mera to naam hi galat hai are it's a clerical error 292 b and 292 double b make it your best friend star mark this on the first page That refer the question on page seventeen. ऐसे करके लिखो. Notice deemed to be valid in certain circumstances. This I want to read because this is a five mark question asked. Can say कितनी बार पूछा है. I have given you this question in the assessment procedure only. Where SSE has appeared in any proceedings or cooperated in inquiry hmm? relating to assessment, it shall be deemed that any notice. which is required to be served upon him has been duly served upon him in time with the provisions of act and such ssc shall be precluded from taking any objection in any proceeding or inquiry under this act that the notice was not served upon him mujhe to mila hi nahi not served upon him on time they didn't give on time served upon him in proper manner ssc has appeared in the proceeding he has responded to the notice and assessment is over now you cannot question ki notice is not served it's not served on time it's not served at all or it's not served in proper manner however foc provision will not be applicable where ssc has raised objection before the completion of assessment if assessment is not over abhi to you have just received the notice and time is there to respond notice Now you can contradict the notice. He notice is saying he is. How do I respond? Then you can. You want me to repeat anything or clear? Proper notice can be served by post, by mail, and all, and it has to be authenticated. मतलब designated officer का signature and all. Hmm? And notice cannot be made invalid on the clerical grounds. Notice deemed to be valid in certain circumstances. if notice is not served or notice served upon him is in time or annual provided you responded to notice assessment is also done okay ssc shall be precluded from taking any objection now you cannot take objection unless you can take objection where assessment is not yet completed last part which is a a uh, repetition of what we have done in the interest topic refund 
Is the SSC eligible for refund? Hmm? Yes. Advanced tax, TDS, TCS, tax paid on demand, sub refund mil sakte. Person entitled to claim refund in certain cases. Where income of other person, this is nice. Where income from other person is taxed in my hands. And I have paid the tax. Now against this, if some refund is coming, that also I will get, no? My spouse income is clubbed in my hands. And related to that income, if some refund is given, I only will get. Claim for refund has to be made in proper way. I think you can just give a reading here. Refund on appeal. Refund becomes due to SSE as a result of order and appeal. Then you is born to pass an order of refund. Where order aforesaid is set aside or cancelled. Is directed. Refund shall become due. And the assessment is annual. The refund shall become due only on the amount of tax being paid. So if there's a refund order, they need to pass without waiting for the SSE. Withholding the refund in certain cases. You know, sometimes the department has to refund me. I thought they will refund. But if they feel that uh, no, giving the refund would be wrong because uh, this person is anyhow liable to pay some other tax and he may not pay and we can adjust this refund over there. Can they withhold the refund till my other case which is in appeal and all is not finalized? Answer is yes. In case where the refund of any amount becomes due to SSE under 143.1. In case where refund of any amount becomes due to SSE under 143.1. And the AO is of opinion having regard to the fact that notice has been issued in respect of the return. That grant of refund is adversely going to affect the revenue. He may withhold the refund up to the date on which assessment is made. Got it or not? So SSE is born to refund, but he is of opinion that granting the refund is adversely going to affect the revenue. He can withhold till your assessment is completed. However, for withholding refund, he has to satisfy prior approval of the commissioner and reason have to be recorded in writing. Okay. Ki why he is withholding the refund. Correctness of assessment not to be questioned. See, when refund is coming and the department knows they can't question the correctness of assessment, that's all over. Then only they are getting the refund. No? And interest on refund. If the SSE is entitled to get refund, shall also be entitled to get interest on the refund. Huh? When I pay taxes less, I have to pay interest 1%, 234% ABC. When I am getting refund, they will give me 0.5% refund. Ab ye exam mein bohat aata hai and this same table is there in your interest topic also. When I have to get refund, along with refund, they will give me interest from which date to which date. Refund is out of TDS and TCS where return of income is furnished within due date from the first day of the relevant assessment year to the date on which refund is granted. If I furnish my return on time and I am eligible for refund from 1st of April till the date on which refund is granted, they will give me interest. If I have submitted return only rate, then the day I have furnished my return till the date refund is granted, they will give me interest 0.5%. Refund is out of self-assessment. The day I paid self-assessment till the date of refund. Refund due to any other person from the date of payment of the tax to the date on which refund is granted. Clear? From date of payment of the tax to the date on which refund is granted. And where refund is due to TDS and all from date on which refund is made to the date on which refund is granted. So all the cases, the date I have paid the tax till the date refund is granted, except if I have filed my return on time, first day of the April till the date refund is granted. Okay. Interest will be paid on the refund. If the amount is less than, refund is less than 10% of the SS tax, then co interest name milega.
ठीक है दिस इज एक्सेस इंटरेस्ट एंड ऑल नॉट रिक्वायर्ड सेट ऑफ ऑफ द रिफंड ऑफ टैक्सेस रिमेनिंग पेबल वेर अ रिफंड इज फॉर्म टू ड्यू एनी अदर पर्सन generally you know one year's refund cannot be adjusted in other years you all know if i have to get refund of 19 and 20 in september can i say 2021 ka i have to pay the advance tax adjust in that answer is no where a refund is found due or person the ao commissioner appeals or the commissioner and all may leave the payment of refund set of amount due ha huh? kabhi kar sakte in what cases The set off can, however, be done only after giving intimation in writing to the SSE. Refund relevant to assessment year cannot be set off against taxes of other years, but for some reason they can withhold. Arrears of tax cannot be adjusted against refund on the request of the SSE. SSE cannot say कि मुझे ना ये थोड़ा सा extra tax pay करना है ये इसमें से जो no 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 all that is not that. Refund due to SSE cannot be set off against the demand outstanding. Refund cannot be adjusted against the demand against the arrears and all, but within that same assessment, if something is payable, they can adjust it with the permission of the SSE and with the information of the commissioner. State the circumstances under which certificate can be issued by the AO to the TRO. So, अभी आपको बताया ना when he is not paying the taxes and all. then those are the circumstances and uh, whenever uh, tro ko certificate kyon chahiye to sell the immovable property to sell the movable property to put him in jail he should have the ready kit the not tax is to be recovered that's why i'm taking these four actions hmm? so that is a kind of question which can be asked these are all from the scanner you can get the answer and easy they are hmm? immediately read the scanner you can write your refer scanner for the language and if you are not having the scanner if you want the answers let me know i'll just scan those answers and put it in our app so that that pdf you can always refer roy file the return claiming a refund of 45000 the said refund was granted and paid to ssc on 1st march after processing the return later on the case was taken up for regular assessment by issue of 143 to kabhi kabhi assessment hone ke baad fir se scrutiny ka notice aata hai na and said assessment was completed in 16th august resulting in a demand of 12000 is the assessment liable to pay interest on the amount of refund already granted to him and if so what is the amount of interest okay so 45000 refund is there which is granted on 1st march hmm. again some tax is due and which you are liable to pay then related to that when you refund the taxes 0.5% interest you have to pay from the time when you have received to the day you refund theek hai right this is also answered in your assessment procedure assessment of rose limited was completed and a notice of demand was issued 13 lakhs requiring the company on appeal commissioner appeal the demand was reduced if the demand was reduced do they do they is the ao required to issue a fresh notice answer is no in the same they can reduce the demand from 13 to 10 lakhs answer is no no fresh notice what would be your answer if commissioner appeal has enhanced the taxes from 13 to 15 lakhs answer is additional notice is to be issued for 2 lakh already have issued the notice for 13 lakhs but if the commissioner appeals is enhancing it then for more 2 lakhs you need to issue okay one more question the third one the assessment of 20 to 3 was completed and thus creating a demand company filed an appeal against this order before the cit was allowed relief however this order of cit was challenged by department and itet reversed it department ke favor mein 
in this context explain the liability of company as to payment of interest charged by the ao from the date of order of the cit till the date of order by the it the tax demanded as per the order was paid in full within time allowed as per the notice issued under 156 then no interest is required to be paid or the tax demanded as per order is not paid samajh mein aa raha hai aapko so you won the case then you lost it in the it and they demanded tax you paid the tax within notice of demand mein 30 days jo bhi 28 days time tha so no interest if the tax demanded as per order was not paid answer is after 30 days interest will start at the rate of 1% per month calculation ki zarurat nahi hai just the answer interest will start at the rate of 1% per month this question is important this already asked now because 143 144 156 all this is covered in assessment procedure you can find this question and answer in my assessment procedure sheet also sure you will find it okay so that's all for today's topic once again what is important person leaving india if he's non-resident what is his duty if it is resident what is his duty and the career ship and aircraft what is his duty this is one another is tro tro will make all the tax recovery certificate by the tax recovery officer and what are the modes he can attach and sell the movable property immovable property put him in prison or the fourth mode is appoint a third person hmm? so like this all the cases are given Achha, notice what is valid notice given by post by courier by mail but it has to be authenticated signed and officer ka naam rena hai, signature date and point, designation of the officer if that is missing the notice is not authenticated Achha, can the ssc say that notice is void have been issue it's not valid because there's a clerical error my name is not written my address is not there or something is wrong answer is no notice is still valid okay and once to the wrong notice ssc responded and the assessment is over then he cannot deny ki notice was not served or it was not served on time or it was not served in proper manner no action can be taken action can be taken provided notice is sent to you and the time to respond is still pending assessment then you can contradict the notice itself okay so overall i have tried to give the best neither diving too much into this and yes refund interest from which date to it's 0.5 percent but from which date only if you're filing the return on time from first april till the refund granted in all the other cases refund interest is paid from the day you pay the tax which is refunded till the day you refund is granted okay tomorrow don't miss the class we are doing prosecutions and penalties penalties is in money terms prosecution is imprisonment i do understand that the list is like how will you remember the list but out of that one or two questions related to raid misrepresentation of income or understatement of income what is the penalty two three questions are there which are repeatedly asked with that emphasis only we will do the class but don't leave it absolutely because five 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 like this makes your 15 marks question and against this if they ask you charitable trust and all you don't have an option to leave that i'll make sure i'm not teaching you extra the way we have done today's topic is it fine or you want answers of all these four questions for language do let me know surely there to support you all okay that's all for today's class thank you so much two more topics are left and you can plan your self-study schedule thank you bye, -bye.